Yeah, they picked him up. Oh shit. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mush and bringing you guys another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about and explaining to you guys what is exactly going on with this floating island above Loot Lake and the cube and all that stuff because it was kind of a mystery. I mean, still, usually they like to clear things up a little bit, but this is still a mystery. It's just a floating island and nobody knows what it's going to be like. People are thinking it's going to be like this the whole entire season and others are saying that the cube is going to be moving. Even people on Twitter have been DMing me, showing me images of the cube above places like Salty Springs and stuff like that. So they're saying that there's glitches like that and i don't think it's a glitch i think that the cube is going to be moving um it's just a matter of time and stuff like that and actually today with this being said we actually found out that the cube is starting to move and fortnite actually tweeted out a picture saying darkness rises are you prepared the day of the cube moving so right when the cube starts moving they tweet out this little scary quote and i think they're just basically saying this cube is something evil it's it's nothing good it's basically here on the fortnite map to do bad things it, it's nothing's good about this cube so i don't know if you've noticed but so far for this season i've gotten kind of like a halloween dark evil theme going on for the season and honestly i mean the hype between the last halloween skins being now i think they really wanted to really get this halloween hyped up as much as last year but but who knows you guys i mean if you go to the shops and like retail row you'll see that they have like halloween stores and stuff like that now we got bats we got wings we got dark gliders we got dark evil villains and stuff like that coming to the game so this cube means that things are going to go bad for the turns of worse like there's going to be evil characters coming to the game it's not just going to be like your whole superhero super villain things and technically they're actors not even superheroes or villains this is actually going to be real bad things if you guys don't know the the rooms that actually drop these little smaller cubes you can consume it and then become a ghost and you can travel through walls and stuff like that so that's just something that we've never seen before something that's kind of like towards the odd side of like being evil and bad so this apparently what the island is supposed to do thanks to reddit like and stuff like that the island is supposed to go over to each one of these seven or six rooms that they left on the island that the cube left on the island and it's supposed to activate it somehow and something's supposed to happen when it activates we don't know exactly what it is i think each one's going to have like a specific thing that comes out of the ground or something evil like that if you guys don't know like over by haunted hills they they built this evil castle on top of the mountain so there's just bad things coming to the game now i don't know exactly what it is but yes this cube is supposed to basically go over each one of these locations and activate it as you guys can see right now there's an image on screen of that but guys that's all you really need to know about the cube for now i know it's only like what three days into the season and we're all super curious what's going on with the map the map's not really anything super special it's just a small thing small change but things are already starting to happen early in the season usually whenever the season drops there's like three or four weeks before something happens it's already the third day and things are already happening. So guys, stay tuned. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you guys cannot afford the battle pass, listen to this because I, ha I have a little a little thing, a gift for some of you out there. So if you cannot afford the battle pass and you really want the battle pass this season, guys, don't worry. I got you covered. There's only two things that you need to do. I've been picking winners every single video. All you got to do is give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what system you play on. If we can hit 500 likes on this video, I'll pick a winner for the next video. And if we can hit 1,000 likes on the video, I'll pick two winners. But shout out to the winner of last video, yesterday's video. Huge shout out to Hamad1810. He plays on PC Hamad. Go ahead and DM me on YouTube. I will go ahead and hook you up with some money so that way you can actually get the battle pass and stuff like that. And also the second winner is Liam Wise on Xbox. Yo, Liam, congratulations. Guys, if you do want the battle pass, easy steps. Give the video a thumbs up comment down what system you play on and again if we hit 500 likes we'll pick one winner if we hit a thousand likes we'll pick two winners the reason i'm doing this is because if i do two winners every video that's gonna end up making me go broke so guys thank you so much for all the love all the support i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helped inform you on what's going on in fortnite and i'll see you guys in the next video peace